Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. Today we're going to have a quick look around the iOS 5 on the iPhone 4. Unfortunately it's not the 4S, there's no Siri and there's no speed. But, you know, we have the good old voice control and English accent now. Play songs by 50 Cent. Playing songs by 50 Cent. Good enough. Let's pause this. Okay, so first things first. Most important thing for me is my notifications. And before, it was really annoying when they were coming up in the middle of my screen and stopping what I was doing. So Apple has solved this now with the notification center. So you'll see here, I've got a mail from myself that says, you're being really Siri now. Very funny. And you can see how many times I've done this video. <laughs> so that's the notification center. And obviously notifications now come up at the top. And they can be configured by going to settings and notifications. Obviously you can change how things come up in the um, notification center. So for example I can change how live profile lets me know stuff either by no, no alerts, banners or alerts like before in iOS 4. You can put the badge icon on or off, sounds and viewing lock screen. See so if we scroll down then there's apps you can put into the um, notification center. So next thing we're going to look at is newsstand. So you'll see it here and I've got a magazine in there. So you see you've got my runners world in here and go in and select the issue I want to read. Let's choose September. And obviously I can scroll through the magazine. Have a read. Uh, what the menu? What are you doing? There we go. Okay, so I'm out. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's newsstand. There's also the store button there where you can go and buy more magazines. So for example, NY Times, I've got one as well, Men's Fitness, I, I might need that. <laughs> um, Disney Family Fun, sounds good. But yeah, you can buy the magazines here. They say free, but when you go into the apps, you will need to buy the issue that you want to read. So don't be fooled by that. I've, I've let you know now. So yeah, we'll come out of this and we'll collapse that. So the next thing is reminders. So you'll see I've got a reminder here. I'm going to tap this button here and go to my iCloud reminders. Because this is where the fun stuff is. Once again, you'll see how many times I've done this video. So I'm going to create a new reminder. I'm going to put in the... I don't know now. Um, I've run out of ideas. I don't know, I get done from Tesco, whatever. So we're done. Tap on that. So you click tap on remind me. You can do on a day. Or at location. Don't want it to actually discover my real location because you'll all know it as well. So yeah, tap done. And then there's my reminder. And this is all sync with the iCloud as well, by the way. So if you have another iOS device like an iPad, an iPod Touch, or a Mac, then they'll be in sync, which is pretty cool. So the next thing is Twitter. You go into settings, scroll down to Twitter. Twitter, that's the one. As you'll see here, I have both my Twitter accounts. And I can see what Twitter is allowed to do. So if I tap on Mullins J08, we'll just see some of the settings. See my full name, username, password, description, and location, and stuff like that. So we'll tap 
done. I'll go back. So for example, if you take a photo, which I'm going to do now, uh, I'll find something to take a photo of. It's a boring. Anyway, my CD case. So I'm going to take a quick picture of that. Oh, there we go. Half my finger in the picture, but oh well. Right, okay. So we have a picture of my CD case there. Pretty crap, I know. What we'll do is we'll click on that. And then we'll say tweet. Then we'll see if we can tweet my picture out to the world. So I'm going to say... And they've conveniently placed the hash on the corner there, so I can do my hashtag, which isn't HT, it's HDQ. Oh. Eels. And we'll add a location, and we'll send it. Excellent. So this leads me on to my next feature of iOS 5, which if we tap edit, we will see. So see down here, I have a rotate button, an auto enhance, remove red eye, and crop. So the first thing I'll do is I will use the rotate button just to show you. So I'll rotate it, and again, and again, back to how it was, great. Then we have the auto enhance button, which automatically enhances your picture to make it look better. So if we tap that, bring the phone a bit closer as well, be good. So there, it's enhanced my picture. I don't see how it's done it because I'm looking at it through the camera. And you can also crop. So I can either reduce or I can make the constrain so we'll say 8 by 10. So if I just drag the picture around, crop, save. And that saved my picture. The next thing I want to look at, if I bring the camera close again, is the reader in Safari. So if I tap done and go to the register.co.uk Let's find a nice story to read, shall we? Let's um, zoom in. Whoa! There we go. I found one already. So you'll see at the, at the top here in the address bar, I've got this reader button. So what this will do is it will, obviously, as you can see, make the text easier to read and perfectly formatted for the phone so there's no swiping left and right, which I think is pretty cool. And obviously, it's also kept all the pictures. Lovely. And the one final thing I want to show you is iCloud. So if we jump into the settings and scroll down a little bit, you'll see iCloud. So you'll see I've got my iCloud set up for reminders, bookmarks, and find my iPhone, which is pretty useful to annoy people with. <laughs> um, and you'll also see here I've got storage and backup. So here it lets you know how much backup you've got, storage you've got left, and you can buy more, and you can turn on or off cloud backup, and you can backup now. So I'll just show you if I just, there we go. It won't take long, by the way. We'll just 
give it a second. Okay, I'm bored now. Okay, so you see here we've got manage storage. This shows you the size of your backup. And if we go in there, it will show you all the apps that are using, that are being backed up and it shows you the size of their backups. And also, obviously, the other features of iCloud is mail, ca contacts, calendars, reminders, notes, photo stream, and documents and data. And that's really all I can show you on the iPhone, because otherwise we're delving into my things. But that's it for this tutorial, and look out for more coming very soon. <laughs>